This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. Welcome to the Hilltop Potty, people. It's the Trim Healthy Podcast with Serene Pearl, and I'm Danny. And gals, your foreheads are looking great Thank today. You. Thank you. <laughs> we had a question come in. Actually, we've got a different question, but Arden just brought a question that came in. Was that through YouTube, Ard? What was it? Come here. <laughs> come here, son of son of my son. <laughs> Serene always says, come here, son of my loins. This was, I said, this, son of my son, to be very nice and PG. This question I have is different. typed on YouTube? Or is this an email? No, that one came through our Zendesk. Okay. Where people I get in here and in. ask us this question. Do you guys mind if I eat? I haven't had lunch yet. What is that? Uh, what do you have there? Um, this is, I don't think I'll tell you. <laughs> well, isn't this a food show or what? What are you eating? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to share it. All right. So am I, I'm I going to read, I, I'm Mr. Question Guy, but questions everywhere. Am the I going to read from the phone? The first one is not very, won't take a whole potty. So okay. just. Question one. I may have missed a potty where this is discussed, but did the sisters use Botox? Faces and foreheads look lovely and smooth for mid 40s and 50s. Just curious. Late 40s, man, and into the 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, um, do we use Botox? <clears throat> no. Do we do our own South Korean very pure tox? Baby venom? Yes. Yes. Pure tox. Pure tox. Is that a thing? So. It's legal, but not. We're not, we're not telling other people to do it. It's just that when we got to a certain age, we always looked frowny, mad, sad. I don't want to look that way. So what'd you do? Well, it's just that I tried everything natural first. I taped my face. You know, my face husband tape. had to go to sleep with the taped woman. I, I, I would tape my forehead like this. My main reason was because I would get tension from the day and I would even have to like put a little bit of my pillowcase or a, or a sleeve of a shirt over my forehead to tell it to relax otherwise it would still be tense from the day and I couldn't sleep because I could feel like a buzzing in my forehead like tension and so um so that was the main reason but secondary I I would see these little leavens starting to form and so I would tape them but guess what the ripping off of the tape okay and then the other lines on either side of the tape where you're <laughs> resting in your pillow and it's causing its own lines yes i had different kinds of 11s coming on and i looked up and did all kinds of inventions for stuff and brought a special pillow three different special pillows from amazon in the end i just jumped onto pearls club well here's the deal i mean we lose collagen as we age right especially as we lose hormones um you can't do much about it. You can use natural skin creams and they go a long way. Like my skin is wonderfully hydrated. It's very, it feels, it feels good. But at 53, you're going to have deeper wrinkles, more dropping. I still have some dropping, but that's just part of life. I'm not trying to look 20 something. So I started researching this is this big DIY world of people doing their own things. Since COVID. Their own faces. Because, because they couldn't go to their clinics and get it done. And so yeah. they were like, we still care about looking the way we want to look. So women, you know, learned to do it themselves, started doing videos between themselves, followed doctors who do it. And so like I... Some of the most incredibly skilled doctors yeah. in the world from Europe. Oh, there's so, some I mean, amazing I videos decided why can't I do that? I didn't want to look like Botox face, you know, but <laughs> I did want to get rid of this big, deep one. I had a... She has 11s. I have ones and it always... Like, she people, had it since 18. It's, it's yeah, genetic. But it got Our deeper. father got it. And they would say, but what's wrong, Pearl? I'm like, nothing's wrong. And they're like, you look sad. You look mad. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. But it was this deep one. Yeah. Um, and and so um, I, I've i watched these videos. I got the South Korean. It's it's a, you can, different type of toxins. I got one that's pure of impurities. And and you dilute it. So it's, yeah. you don't use a lot. I'm not telling people they should do it, it, but it's legal. The There's pure? different it's, ones. It's like bee venom. Um, you can go onto different sites. They're, oh. they're, they're um face card and also get glowing get glowing get glowing um What's something something america what was that one eternal beauty america there's yeah. different ones and you, but don't ever just go in there and start jabbing your face you'll mess up you oh. got if you yeah. want to do this yourself and we're not telling anyone to we're just nerds who study yeah. um we we learned to do it in the right places and um there i are love it there are groups that you can join and they, they will I actually had a, a handhold. I actually paid like 75 bucks for this lady in London to walk me through it. And she walked me through it. And now Pearl walks me through it every time. Yeah, you know, it's still it's venom. Girl. It, well, still it's girl. originated from bee venom. That's what the basics of it is. But you know, it's very healthy for your skin. It's very oh, healthy. Oh, my skin. Get, I haven't done it for like four months. So yeah. I need to do it again. Yeah. 
Um, so it lasts a long time. Four, four months. months. Oh. And it costs us like 34 bucks to buy the stuff. But you got to do a no, little needle. Oh, it feels like nothing. Because it's such a tiny little. Oh, it's like a little. But nothing. we're not saying, hey, you have to go do Botox to be healthy. It's nothing to do with your health. It's just the way you want to feel. I feel happier because I look in the mirror and my face looks happier because it doesn't have these tired looking lines. And the other thing is, is sometimes there can just be. Um, your body follows your your kind of expressions. Yeah. And sometimes if your expression is your resting expression is frowny. <gasps> Do you know what they did this study? This is what um, changed my mind in the end. They did this study of women that go to um, skin spas or like, you know, uh, pl- what do you call it? S- plastic surgeons and get different things done. And so they they took a study of all the different things. And the woman that actually got Botox, overall, they did these happiness scores over them, were much happier than the ones that did other oh, things that weren't wow. Botox. Why? They couldn't literally frown. Okay, so when now, they saw their own face in the now mirror. Now we don't do it so because hard. Because you're not look, frowning. You can frown still. I can frown a little bit. I try to keep movement I can frown in my head. Because I don't like, the, I don't yeah, like to be like... You know how you see a woman with Botox, she looks so frozen? It can, it's yeah. not so good. It's the yeah. amount you do, you see. We don't yeah. do that much. So, so, but I will usually, if I would frown, I get this big one. Now, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can get a one, okay? Danny, see something mean. I'm going to frown. Uh, <laughs> Pearl, I don't know why, what? but when I saw you walking up the driveway oh, to the podcast this today. Be mean. This can be mean. It's like you were the biggest wannabe. Oh, okay. With your outfit. Can I see? No, you can hardly do it. Like, what do you think? Is this Freddie Mercury no, live you're at Wimbledon? Everywhere else. Is this Queen? Is this I'm a live Queen to frown. show? Hold on. <laughs> Charlie, am hates I frowning? You. Charlie hates you. Charlie's so annoyed. I bet you nagged his. No, it's butt not working. Off. Okay, so I can't frown. Anyway, Sorry, hey, but if you deep. get really good, some women, I'm not this good. I haven't looked into it. I have enough time. You can even do tox in different areas of your face that pulls up your jowls, which is what I want to do because as you get, you know, mid-50s, you start to sag down there. And it's it's like a science. Fantastic. But that's not the, the kind Nobody of thing. And there's other things that we grandma. do, microneedling, but we stopped doing it because we got busy. We're going to get back to that. We're going to get back to it. I <laughs> worked with a girl on a, on a music video. She was an actress. Yeah. And she, it was my first time just, knowing about any of this yeah and i just remember how like her forehead was like a perfect forehead oh yeah like but a I didn't baby's forehead. perfect oh, nice. to me it wasn't i just thought there's a person yeah mm-hmm. and she had gotten botox and she told me how how it freezes your your muscle yeah and so as an actress oh new, no, they don't like that they well, want you to be able to well, express here's the thing. right new actor new actors and actresses tend to overact yeah they're like i'm bored i'm sad like it's so obvious that you're that and she said it was helpful to her because she physically couldn't overact it Mm. froze her face oh that's interesting and she said she got more compliments from directors that hey you're you're very natural and she was like i wasn't trying to be i was i was trying to overact not knowing not meaning to and Mm -hmm. but she couldn't but it's a neurotoxin is what yeah, I learned. Botox yeah, is. neurotoxin. But it's actually, you know how you get hormetics in food? Like there's a little bit of something, something in a food, well, which like is... like a laetrile inside Yeah, it's it. a little bit poisonous, but in a tiny dose, it's actually good for you. So that's so, why it's bee venom. It's like essential yeah. oils. The venom is a poison. Yeah. That kind of locks... But it doesn't hurt your body. No, yeah. Now, they did used to have ones that were actually not as healthy. They have really kind of like got purified them up these So you days. don't feel venom in you? You're not... It's not no, like a sting. No, no. And I tell you... Tell you what, they're amazing for people who suffer from migraines. Yeah. I have suffered from migraines, and, really? and when I am properly toxed, I have so many less headaches, especially because yeah, I do I them right in my attention. hairline, which gives you a no. bit of a slightly. That's another thing that happens. This podcast is not supposed to be about tox it's and fine. stuff. But as we age, and this happened to me big time, your eyebrows start to sag, right? And you get this kind of look, which is... <laughs> You're really giving one Oh, the you get, you get hoods. Heavy. <laughs> I have, I have hoods. Do, yeah, I, do you see my hoods? I mean, no, they're just kind of like male. male. You have a male... Male have more hooding. Men, because they have usually kind of beadier eyes and a little bit more of the brow. All that to say, if you... If you know, you can learn to do it, but if you tox right at the hairline, it pulls them up. And you should, it's not like real fake, but you just get a brighter eye where it's not just like real sitting... 
it's just a little brighter. It's just and like, listen, we dilute it. But you don't want spock with the saline, no and it's just eye. the purified bee venom, and we just dilute a little bit, and we do it very mildly. Okay. And we love it. We just do it once every five months, four months, five months. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's get to today's question, which is not about Botox. I'm happier when I have a haircut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's right? Yeah, I, I feel happier. When I whiten my teeth, I'm happier. No, when I start to get microphone head, mm-hmm. and it's just like, behold, a Mexican. <laughs> but Mexicans are, you, yeah, I love proud. No, I know, Something but I'm just saying proud. I'm not going for the very not, Mexican look. You're not, no. Personally. Yeah. Because I am Mexican. But you are going for that more neutra, neutra... Um, European, uh, ethnically ambiguous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so I find with a haircut and a little bit of, uh, mm-hmm. a little bit of oil, I feel healthier. I, I look in the mirror and I say, there's the man I want to see. Yeah. So I, I support it for women. Okay, you want to hear a question? Mm-hmm. Um, hi there from Canada. I wanted to leave this email and a big fat thank you. But in case this finds its way to the sisters themselves, I would be remiss if I didn't ask a question or two of the experts. I'm 36 years old. I've been reworking on my fat loss journey since summer, and I'm finding it much more challenging than in the past. I work out at my local gym at least three times a week in a HIIT class. The HIT class, uh, three, at least three. At least three on the HIT. Yes. Okay, I needed to know that. The HIT class consists of some short cardio bursts, body weight exercises, as well as some reps with weights. I believe I put on some muscle, but I'm not sure of exact numbers. Sometimes I'll add a day or two of walking on the treadmill for an hour and a half at a fairly steep incline in the warmer months. I was also Did walking. Did she just say an hour and a half? What? On a steep incline. Barely. Did, did oh. she just say that? Out for half an hour. Okay. Oh, okay. For half an hour. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes really my brain gets lazy. I mean, I'm not the judge of if you're rude. Am we'll I hear rude back from our Tell viewers guys, if you're actually, rude. It might be the way I don't speak so much. No, it's a food podcast. I think you should eat. Look, Pearl likes that. Do you see that face? More Even through the talk, she me. can smile so good. I have to make sure my mouth is empty before I open it. You know Pearl I mean? starts like sliding her apples and carrots. And yes. <laughs> for every show, Pearl comes That's with a true. bouquet of Serena, food. you see it a lot more when we weren't on YouTube. I always ate. Mm. Mm-hmm. In warmer months, I was also walking for about 40 minutes every day at the park. But now that it's winter, I know my steps are on the lower side. Since learning more about the importance of protein, I've also tried to up my game in this area. Going as far to buy aminos and aiming for 25 grams in my meals, I'm probably eating more XOs. Crossovers. Than I have in the past, especially at breakfast, because I love half and half cream in my coffee and butter on my sourdough toast. Sorry this is long. I forgive you. Am I struggling to lose weight because of my age? Or is there something else I'm missing? I know 36 is no spring chicken. Yes, it is. But I feel too young for something like HRT. Or am I? Did I mention I'm really just looking forward to the Trim Healthy Wisdom book? Again, thank you for all your amazing work. Grateful that you said yes to God's call in your life. Love 30-something. Um, thank I you, just, Dan. Can you pass me my great. computer? There's so many places we could start. Can I just dive in? Yeah, Dive in. It's your podcast. Um, Okay, we're going to touch on the crossovers. We're going to touch on when um, when they're awesome, um, how many to, to have that would be awesome, but also the, the type too. We're going to get to that. Um, obviously, you're going to need more carbohydrates when you're working out. She's working out a, a lot. But I would say HIIT exercises after mid-30s can be great when done wisely. Um, like... The only time I really do hit is I'll do some sprint hills. I'll run up a hill like three times, but there'll be four minutes in between where I fully recover. And that may not be the only exercise I do that day, but um, I don't do hit that's uh, like I don't do a workout that's just hit. Um, after 35, they can be kind of cortisol producing. It sounded like you were doing body weight, so I can imagine push-ups. It said that you incorporate weights into the hit, so I can see, you know, like cow. If, you, if anyone's been to Tribe Healthy, there is uh, the push ten. Is that what it's called? Fit ten. Fit ten, which is great, but that's only ten minutes. Mm, it's hit, but, but it's if you 10 did um, and it's got rest, if you did more than um, ten minutes worth of that style workout, um, I, I think that that could be cortisol producing, which could kind of compromise. Your, your weight loss. So, and the fact that she said um, that 
30 something is your name, <laughs> that you said you're going to hit class. The word class makes me think whoever's leading that class is not going to give you a 10, 15 minute class. I mean, they're going to do a class. It's like probably 45 minutes, Ooh. 30 to 45 minutes, because, you know, you want to go to that class and get your money's worth. Mm-hmm. And I would say that's hurting you. It is hurting you because when you do intense things, you're saying short cardio bursts, body weight exercises, as well as some work with weights. There's three things in there. And if it's hit, it sounds like it's intense. And like Serene said, you're above 35. So what happens when we're above 35? And why can't we do these things as well? No, we can. It's just how you throw it in. Yeah, it's how you throw it in. But why can't we do these things in long amounts, right? Right. Because... 35 is when our hormones, right about that perimenopausal time, when they, our estrogen starts to decline. Now, as our estrogen starts to decline, what happens? Our cortisol goes up. Mm. Why? Because estrogen is our big stress-combating hormone for women. Estrogen just like carries stress. And it's like, here I am, I'll take care of your stress. So then when it starts to kind of roller coaster in the peri years, and people think, oh, I have estrogen dominance in peri mm-hmm. years. No, you have progesterone lack. Yes. Your estrogen is still there, but it's kind of going up and down, but it's on its way So out. it might be dominant, but yeah. dominant in a lack. Yeah, dominant mm-hmm. in a lack. And so your estrogen is kind of going like, I'm looking at the camera a lot. I'm trying to speak to 30 something. She's, she's sorry actually for that, Danny. The, the fifth wall, is that what Danny calls yeah. it? Fourth. Because I'm trying to talk to 30-something, not you. But it's going like this, 30-something. It's going um, like that. See that? Yeah, and keep going. It's not like when you get to menopause, it's just goodbye. But that's what it's doing. And so what happens when you lose your estrogen or it goes wacky? Your cortisol over here has so, to like, oh, here I am. I'm the only one doing it. I have to rise because I've still got all this stress. I understand a second or two, but you it's like a show now. It is a show, but I'm just doing this and then I'll stop. Okay. So cortisol over here used to be down here because estrogen and cortisol were sharing the stress load, right? Estrogen goes down. Cortisol's like, I'll take my share now. I'll do it. And as wonderful as HIT is hit for longer than I'd say 10 minutes Mm -hmm. for over 35 would be cortisol. It increases cortisol. Because when I do my heel sprints, I couldn't really call them hit because I'm giving myself a four minute break between my heels. Mm -hmm. That's not a hit class. The lady would just, you know, like people be packing up their backpack and going home if you get a four minute break between each little exertion, right? So, um, when I, my husband is starting to do some hit because he's going to this doctor and his doctor said, you know, do some hit. And he came down the stairs the other day from our gym. And he's like, boy, he's like, I know why you say that you, you say weightlifting is like a spa time for you because he's like, I, wow. Like the difference between how I feel like a dying cockroach right now compared to how I feel after I've been lifting weights for 45 minutes. It's totally different. Like you, you, it is more of a cortisol punch to you, the, the hit. Definitely. I want to come work out with Sam. Yeah, you should. Except that he'll lift eight times what I lift, but, but whatever. So, and I would say to 30-something, the hit isn't building muscle for you. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's too fast. Mm-hmm. So, and you can't go heavy enough because mm-hmm. if you're a hit is you don't get a lot of rest, maybe 30 seconds mm-hmm. max rest. Max, yeah. So if you're only getting 30 seconds max rest, you can't get that ATP back into the muscle mm-hmm. in time. So you, you're, not, you're not lifting heavy. So it's great fat burner when your cortisol isn't raised, but you're in that time where you've got to be careful with that. So I would say slow your workouts down, lift heavier, get some of that muscle tissue that will burn through your fuel more. And, and let's talk about those crossover meals. Well, uh, not there yet. Not because yet. Okay. Um, I want to talk about cortisol itself. <laughs> Just tell me to have some more. Go food. back to your food, <laughs> Serene. Cortisol, why do we not want cortisol to raise? <laughs> no, I didn't ask you. She can't tell you. I know. I'll she just doesn't answer it. I'll know. ask an answer. Because <laughs> cortisol, dream. yeah. <laughs> cortisol inhibits loss of fat. It stops, even stops our digestion, actually. It's the opposite to rest and digest, where we metabolize, where our metabolism turns on. And it actually puts belly weight on our belly, cortisol does. And it inhibits our fat burning power. So we don't, we need cortisol in life. It's like insulin gets a bad rap. Cortisol gets a bad rap. We need it. We don't need it in excess. We need it to be just enough and tampered. And so, 
Yeah, so that's why we don't want too much. So that's why, hey, strength training with enough recovery in between, like Serene said, who's eating now, um, is perfect for you. I'd ra- we'd rather you do that three times a week than this hit class, to be honest. And if you want to do some walking, I love. And for speed, because um, ballistic moves like that, box jumps or kettlebell yeah. swings or anything that, you know, it just has this fast speed to it. It's wonderful for our fast twitch muscle fibers. It's great as we age to be able to have that power. But I like throw in some box jumps at the end of my workout, but it's just a burner. So it's just I'll do two sets of 20 jumps onto a box, but that's it. It's not like a big class. Or one time per week and, you know, your your three strength training days, you just take 10 minutes and do some jumps or some, you know, things, something like that. Or some kettlebell swings. It doesn't have to be long. Keep it short. Um, I love your walking. Walking Mm -hmm. is a cortisol lowerer. So, you know, these things, even strength training can raise your cortisol, not as much as hit, but your brakes tamper it down again. Can I talk about walking? Yes. Um, but, but studies over and over, there's not one study that doesn't show that cortisol, um, cortisol is lowered through walking. Rebounding does the same thing. Rebounding's great on your cortisol. Okay. I'd like to talk to about walking. <clears throat> there is a walking, and we've talked about it here before, that is relaxing. And then there's a walking that's going to not allow you to keep enough energy for your next day in the gym. If okay. it's your off day when you're walking, let it be in your mind that you're not even exercising. Like put a podcast in your head and go for a walk. But if you're like walking for, she's not, but she said, she said treadmill mm. high incline. Um, 30 minutes. So I'm following this guy, you know, Brett Contreras and he, and I'm doing his glute lab program, but he actually talks about that in there. And it's like your day off. What should you do? Well, just do your chores around the house. Should you go for a walk? Well, keep it under 20 minutes or something. He's just saying, because you don't realize how much to actually change your body and to build muscle. You have to bring your game to the gym and you need to, it comes from the same energy pot. That walk is going to come from the same energy pot as your time in the gym. So allow your off day to be an off day. Yes. Walk. We, we don't want to be sedentary. Um, you got to walk, but don't do arduous walking. I agree, but I would, I will differ a little bit because your time in the gym is very long and intense, 45 minutes, sometimes mm. almost to an hour. And that's Brett Contreras's kind of approach too. Right. long and kind of because long Because I'm me. building something. Yeah. And all the exercise nerds like you love that. But if we're going to be doing shorter strength training mm. times, like let's just yeah. say, you know, 20, 25 minutes, on my walk days, I love to involve that um, that hit. I love to just walk and then I'll just do two sprints in the middle right. of them. That's brilliant. You know? But what does she want to do? Yeah. Is she trying to build muscle? We right don't now know. She, yeah. We don't know, but I've built muscle doing 20, 25-minute mm-hmm. workouts. Right. So right. it all depends upon what you want. That there is different levels. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, what we've noticed is that, you know, we've got a lot of nerdy people that come to our Tribe Healthy where we're putting our sessions in now. And there's, you know, some that want to do the 45 minute, but a lot of people just aren't there yet, Serene. And they prefer to do like Cal's 10 minute one as an entrance or my 25 minute one. And then maybe eventually they'll get to yours or they never will. But yours is your passion. Mm -hmm. People without that passion aren't quite ready. So just stick to my smoothie. Yeah. Do you think most people are, if, if, like for me, um, if I could choose, if there were no consequence either way, I enjoy the feeling of now getting around to it's a whole nother story but once i'm there yeah pushing up weight feels very good to me yeah it's very enjoyable mm-hmm. i think for a lot of people it's not enjoyable at all and I, by the way i had to break through a lot of anxiety mm. to get to that point when i first started even doing push-ups push-up number four my childhood fears and trauma would surface yeah. somehow i have no idea why but i was dealing with it as i pushed through i mean there's a lot of psychology with working out mm-hmm. um but I would I would wonder if most people are not feeling why am I choking on my Celsius? <laughs> Your childhood traumas are coming out. Here it today. comes. <laughs> um I would wonder if a lot of people are not really feeling the buzz and this is only to like save their life or avoid cancer or I got to cut this weight. I'm wanting to save my marriage or whatever. I work with a men's clinic and it's actually, I'm, it's actually eye opening. You go to a men's clinic or you no, work? No, I work with a men's clinic. Mm-hmm. On, For with their help with their advertising. Marketing and yeah. advertising and stuff. 
and <clears throat> I've learned so much about relationships. Every single day, guys are coming in and saying, I'm losing my marriage because of this, mm. because of could these male performance issues, uh, yeah. which to me, I don't live in that world. Mm -hmm. I don't struggle with that, but I also feel very confident mm -hmm. that if I did, it wouldn't affect mm -hmm. like whether I stayed married or not, mm -hmm. but that's real. That's out there. And yeah. so I know out there for women, there are, there are very justifiable reasons why they are forcing themselves mm -hmm. into a gym or, or at least to purchase gym equipment. And so for people that, this is not pleasurable for do you have any well that's me i mean i don't think working out was not has ever been pleasurable for me but the results were so good that now i'm at that stage where i'm not serene it's it's not my hobby and passion but i get in there because of how it makes me feel i'm actually slowly starting to love that okay push you know yeah. do you, do you as you look in the room you love. see the muscle yeah, and I think, you know, That's we converted fun. our garage mm -hmm. um, to a gym and putting mirrors in was so it's, uh, that's good. That's money, yes. You start to see form. You start to focus in. It's better than when you're just in your head. Totally. And and you start to see the, 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 the you know, the which muscle I'm using and it's better. Look, even day one in the gym, you start to, you can see a different you. Now I choose the right shirt. I've got <laughs> shirts that make me look like little flappy chicken arms, little <laughs> chicken wings coming out of them. And then I've got shirts that somehow make me look like I've been working out for 10 years. And yeah. it's just like, what? So I'll wear the right shirt. Right. And it's You got to have the fun. right feedback. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't mean, Pearl, just because it's my passion and my hobby and I've always kind of been inclined that way, that I don't feel um, where I hit walls, mm -hmm. where I'm like, oh my God goodness I'm glad I don't have any more reps you know yeah. or, or I get a little nervous when I see written down on my paper what's yeah. coming next yeah. doesn't mean I don't feel no, don't I have that so it's not like there's joy all the time mm. but I just I love the fact that the body can be manipulated it's yeah. exciting because then it's art and there yeah. that's such a good point it it's art and it's something that like it's almost a forced meditation too mm -hmm. like you are leaving your world that you, you can't I mean, I guess you could, you want to get into your work ends. you can hold your baby and use that weight mm -hmm. for squats, I suppose. But we're talking about something a little more even intense than that. Mm -hmm. And so I love the forced checkout where I, I'm here now mm -hmm. and I'm nowhere else uh -huh. and I can't yeah. be here. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to get in my head, mm -hmm. like the fact that I'm going, I need to get through 15, I need to get through six or whatever, that means I'm not thinking about do I need to lower my food bill this month? <laughs> Am no, I, you're right. you know right, what I'm right. saying? I'm not there anymore. Yeah. And they actually say that if you get fired, the first thing you should do is go pay for a gym membership. Really? You yeah. should go work out because when you sit down and you stress, yeah. your, the movement, your blood flow, and the movement of things in your body, thus thoughts stop moving. Mm -hmm. Everything grinds to a halt. You're not creative. Yeah. You don't know where you're going to work next. You're not sure what you're going to do, but you start working out. Things mm -hmm. start pumping. Your mm -hmm. system starts purging things. Mm -hmm. Bad things are coming out. There's flow. Mm -hmm. And you. they actually say that you will self-generate the solution. Oh, yeah. And, and the, all the oxygen that gets to your brain, mm -hmm. not only the brain. Serena and I have just discovered recently that they, you know your body heats up, right? And this will be in our book, but we'll share it now too because it's too good. Little tidbit. Um, you get um, oxygen not only to you to your brain, but to your gut. Now, what mm. flourishes oh. when you get gut yeah. oxygen, and also when you heat up a bit? They have found that the really good um, good bugs, like the bifido family, the mm. lacto family, yes. they all multiply. Why? They love the, the heat. Gut gets warm. Yes. It gets oxygen. They're like. Oh my goodness, we're going to populate thousands more of us. Not happening. just about the sauerkraut. It's about yeah. a good workout for your microbiome. Yes. Yes. Increases your microbiome. And Isn't do you know what incredible? else I love about exercise is I really, I, I love, I do. I love like what you're describing. It's a spa-like moment for me. And it is yeah. a little bit of a, um, a release from, I don't know. It's just it, it, some people like to go into the bath and be alone. Yeah. I yes. like to go and work out because yes. you're kind of alone in your head because no one else is in that your head but you telling right. you to do this um, this and, and, and kind of get over that, the hump of it. But I kind of 
love, I really, you know, you cannot see your inner world, your inner thoughts, your inner strength. But I like to kind of work out as an example of kind of how I want to grow inside or a representation of, of, of my my inside world. If that sounds woo-woo, I'm not trying to be woo-woo, but oh, like, no. you know, a spiritual strength and not just and, and flourishing um, in, in my mind and my soul and my spirit. I, I want... I want to have that as an outwardly expressed. And I feel like the both kind of, they, they help each other out. Yeah. Um, to get back to 30 something though, and what she's asking, you know, she talked about that she has been increasing protein, um, but she loves her crossovers probably because she's trying to eat more carbs. Right. Um, but she's having a trouble with weight. So, so let's talk about the word weight, of course, right now, you know, if you are gaining muscle, the scale won't show necessary losses of pounds but your body will be um compositioning for the better right however so what, what, is it fat you're trying to lose because if the scale's gone up but you your your clothes aren't getting any tighter that's cool right yeah absolutely but sometimes um you can be increasing protein you can be increasing crossovers you said you love your butter on your sourdough and your heavy cream in your half coffee and half, yeah half and half in your coffee so let's talk about crossovers and let's talk about wise crossovers. And body types. Yeah. Because we're all different, right? Now, some people that get in the gym, they need all crossovers. Like Serene has to eat all crossovers if she I, drops I, weight. I can't even have my fermented milk around my workout anymore. Like my kefir, which I used to love. I have that later on. I have to have the whole milk because otherwise I just shred everything off. I look like a teenage boy. I don't want that. Oh, you need yeah. more, you're saying? I have to have, yeah. yeah. So you have to know your body type. But if you're the body type that, that needs the carbs for energy because you have to have them, they may not need to be in crossover form. Yeah. No, uh, we still uh, love and appreciate yeah. some crossovers, but if you're going to do them, there's kind of cloggy crossovers and there's burny crossovers, mm -hmm. right? And so we talk about this in the book too. You want a burny crossover? Get some burny fats that are a bit easier. Now, and you say butter on your bread. Well, we like butter on our bread too. But if you know that your body's not yet at its healthiest, maybe fat to muscle ratio, um, I would use your sourdough toast in different ways. Get some maybe egg whites with it and some non-starchy veggies and, and maybe don't like like a, a thin smear of the raw virgin coconut oil with yeah. a little sprinkle of salt because Ooh. of those short yeah the median chain fats they burn really there's fast. nothing de deprived about it i think you're in a habit of butter in your bread and i don't think it's hey, serving you but right now know that you can get to the butter and bread yeah. at certain times like uh, you know, instead of people that saying, well, this is my cheat meal this week and I'm going to have a donut. Well, just have your yeah. heavy butter on your bread That's for your the cheat way to meal. Do it. Have Not you every heard... breakfast, but have I have heard... it every yeah. breakfast. Sorry. So. Sorry. Go, Danny, but Dan, I have something go. else to say to her about her cream and her coffee. Have you, you know what everything bagel is with all the mm -hmm. stuff on it? There's a sourdough bread that Kroger sells and it's an everything Soured, but it's sliced bread, but yeah. it's got the everything mm. stuff. Probably not real over. sourdough, but good for you. I'm glad you. I don't know. And yeah. that's the thing. I don't know if it passes the test, but for me, just to take that yeah. and put butter on it mm -hmm. and some THM pink mineral, mineral salt. salt. Oh, if I want cake, yeah. I'll throw a <laughs> yeah. drizzle of honey. Oh, yeah. I don't want so much honey that I get a headache. Yeah. Even me, even though I always want to, I'm always gaining. A, B, G, always be gaining for me. Yeah. Every meal, I'm like, will this help me gain? Will this help? Because uh, yeah. then I find if I'm trying to gain, I'm just maintaining. Right. Uh, but yeah. if you're not trying to gain, you're losing. If I'm yeah. not trying to gain, <laughs> I'm losing. Arden could probably change that. You, it, Arden takes you for two weeks you could gain. I'm just going to live with him. Spend a week with Ardenia. And That's my son, just so you know. <laughs> just if you don't, oh, new but like, in the but room. what you're saying, you've come to this point where that's your, ch that's almost like your cheat meal. It's not a cheat meal, but that's yeah. your donut. It is a yeah. donut. It's better. I have went back just because you know, you'll be somewhere and there'll be like uh, Dunkin' Donuts. You know the one covered in nuts. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, oh, how nostalgic! I can't yeah. pass this up. And it's not good anymore it's not compared to my everything bagel, sourdough bread with butter so, and salt. But it takes a while to get there, right? And we've yeah. got newcomers who are not there yet. That's fine. You will be there. Danny came from a pop tart, mm -hmm. pop tart lifestyle and Coca-Cola. So what and, we're trying to say yeah. 30 something is have that butter and have that sour and don't give it up, but have it as your cheat meal. Yeah. And then every morning for breakfast. And it's not cheat. It's just have it as, as your now and then. Yes. It's not cheat because obviously it's such a pure and wonderful food especially if it's an ancient sourdough mm -hmm. ancient grain sourdough and it's just absolutely fermented and wonderful um but 
every morning if you're still in the that you need that fat loss mode to to you, you, you need to stay in that mode. Maybe not an every morning crossover, yeah. but have have the carbs, have the oatmeal. Yeah, have that and, and get your lean protein, but lean up things a little bit 30 something. And, and, and half if and you're half not is, sh- shredding, shredding the fat as you want to. Half and, and half is not a burning crossover. It's a cloggy fat. So it's nothing wrong with it. It's mm-hmm. on THM. You want half and half of your co- mm-hmm. coffee. But if you're not in a burning season, how about you mix some, um, get yourself a milk frother and mix some almond milk with some nut pods i'm telling you that's the creamiest latte Tell them the recipe i do like um i i have a home breville machine and this is my morning coffee mm. and i'm not saying that some days i just don't do coffee and heavy cream that will be like every couple or two weeks i'm like i'm having my heavy cream and i do it but on a daily basis i have a home breville mm. i do an americano i add about mm-hmm. half a cup of water to it mm-hmm. and then i froth about a third of a cup cup of um, almond milk with two tables third to half a cup with two tablespoons of original nut pods froth it up pour it in it is so mm-hmm. creamy it's what's it, your brand of almond milk though because i it, do it almond breeze mm-hmm. yeah it matters i reckon yeah i reckon it does um you could do different milk but all i'm saying it's lean it's mm-hmm. more easily burnable because some pasteurized dairy fats mm-hmm. we love our dairy but we love home fermented dairy mm-hmm. can be cloggy and if you're in a season where your hormones are a bit erratic or in decline, your body mm-hmm. has some trouble burning cloggy fats. It's just the way we are. Hormones change And we don't things. want people to listen and say, oh my goodness, you know, you, they're all about the, uh, the plant milks and everything. No, we're not. It's just to know your season, know yeah. your time. I mean, I just had the regular whole raw milk and That's put right. that in my coffee. Yeah, so we're all in a different season. What is best for you? And if the butter on the toast every morning and the cream in your, and the half and half in your coffee every morning is not working for you, there is something but maybe else is. that will. Maybe it is. Maybe yeah. it's muscle she's gaining. We she doesn't know. like the uptick on the scale, but it's victory uptick. Yeah. So we don't know. You'll know, mm-hmm. right? You'll know. And um, so there's just But a- you will gain weight when you work out, but it's not fat. Well, some people... Unless if, you're losing yes, massive amounts of Yes, some people... Yeah. If you're already at a healthy weight yeah, and you start right. strength training like me, I have gained weight. I think these things that we've been saying are not huge tweaks. I mean, we're just saying instead of hit, do three days strength training, keep you walking in there. We're saying um, instead of uh, cream in your coffee and butter in your bread every morning. Only if she different. knows that the uptick in scale is, is yeah. fat gain, not muscle yeah, gain. Yeah, we're saying maybe that um, uptick in your scale or the inability to go down is actually a good thing. We don't know. You would know. Just be wise about it. And we are saying that we sh- you should protect your adrenals um, by doing things that are kind to your cortisol levels, not unkind. And mm-hmm. a hit after the age of 35 is unkind. Long, long amounts of hit. Long, yes. Um, so, so really, that's it. And now for we haven't done one in so long. Mm. It's time for a superfood spotlight. I wish we could be talking about all the superfoods I have in here, but we're not going to because... Can you... Mm. Big sister. Yeah, but you like talking way away from here. Because I'm chewing. That's oh, okay. why. No, I would and love you to be. Actually have chocolate on your no, do you know that's now. that's lipstick? That no, was... here, look. Oh, that is a bit of chocolate. <laughs> yes, you messy is. baby. Um, yeah, but we will talk about the superfoods that we have in here another time. Yeah, another time. Um, so you know we have never done a superfood spotlight on blueberries, so let's do it. Yes, vitamin K. <laughs> Trim Healthy Mama Superfood Spotlight Um, Blueberries are something that if I'm out, it's like time to go. You know how you have certain foods? Like mm-hmm. what are they? If you're out, you have to go to the store. Like greens, like a tub of those. Yeah, if you don't have a tub of greens, greens you got to go to the store. If you don't have any like tuna packets, protein, uh Ground beef or chicken ready to go. Yeah. You've got to go to the store. But if I don't have fresh blueberries, I'm on a fresh blueberry kick, I have to go to the store. Do you know how I love fresh blueberries? You taught me this in salad. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so yum. You I mean, can make a salad that is a cake. Oh, yeah. A salmon with blueberries and a salad with goat cheese? No. I'll oh. fight you if you say there's Come something on. better than that. Oh, I mean. Or feta cheese? Oh, yeah. Feta. You could do feta or goat. Okay. Take but a what? drizzle of honey, though. Yeah, no, I can I do that. No, I, I can know. do that. Okay, you can? I can. So I don't if, like the honey sticking to my lettuce. Oh. I if, love that. So there's a combo I love. I'll go horizontal. I'm talking, I'm talking pencil line drizzle of ranch. 
and then vertical pencil <laughs> line drizzle of honey yeah the combination it creates this are you gonna go vertical on delight. the honey too what vertical on the honey too or just no, one we go thing? we go horizontal on the ranch vertical on the honey oh yeah wow i like to have a i make a balsamic and i do that with my baked salmon and my blueberries and my greens and my goat or feta cheese but i'll tell you i, I have blueberries twice a day generally because they have to go on your morning oatmeal. Oh yeah. Okay, the toppings and yeah. and if you don't see them there, do you have the It freshies, doesn't say the celebration. Freshies. I do yeah. the frozen and the I do morning fresh. oatmeal. I've I used to do frozen yeah. but I don't like I don't like icy cold so they need no, to be I thawed. Hate them. Yeah. I, I, I boil them up in the oatmeal. Yeah, I like them fresh. Mm. But Either it's the way. anthocyanins, right? That, yeah. That cause that beautiful, rich blue color. I was going to say the anthocyanins. Well, that's the thing. I the mean, anything that is like a deep blue purple, like eggplant, it's telling blueberries, you something. black it's, rice, yeah. says, anthocyanins. It's speaking. It says, I have more flavonoids than the others eat me yeah. you know and and blueberries they have a lot to boast about it's the most <laughs> antioxidants of the normal fare mm -hmm. the normal vegetables and fruit of course mm -hmm. you've got the baobab and all those you know out yeah, there baobab but, does not beat it but you don't just buy that a baobab husk Guys, fruit at the grocery store light bulb <laughs> we take the best little clips and we offer a monthly coffee mug so on this month's i have what is it? I have flavonoids eat me. Oh, yeah. I have flavonoids eat me, and it's a blueberry, just like, hey. Wouldn't that be good? I mean, why you, is no one you, reacting? You, I mean, I don't know. I feel, we just we never had very up, good sales next, next on, up, um, on, on. We had PTSD of a trying to sell mugs. We could never sell them. So, no, we won't sell many. We're rich in vitamin K, too. So, bl blueberries are excellent for the heart, excellent, yeah. excellent to prevent blood clotting. Um, you know they're brilliant. For they're brilliant for the brain. The okay, so so too. so you, you always hear like um, have a handful of blueberries for your brain. Why? There's like powerful research, not one study, but multiple and multiple multiple studies on what blueberries does for the aging brain. They're like little blue brains. <laughs> yes, they're like little. That's blue brains. one for a coffee mug right there, Dan. Yeah, little blue brains. I'm yeah, a just, little blue brain. No, no, no! Don't say I. Don't even yeah. have a blueberry. Just say little blue brains and let people work it out for themselves. Little blue brains. Um. It's like a Halloween mug. <laughs> okay, I'm no, trying to actually, find why the you're studies finding here. That yeah. They, even though they are a fruit, they actually heal type 2 diabetes. Okay. Yes. No, they really do. Because okay. people, when they avoid carbohydrates with type 2 diabetes, they're not healing it. They're actually just putting a Band-Aid on it because they're not giving any carbohydrate, you know, and they're just keto or anything. They're not giving any carbohydrate for the body to, to you know, learn to do its thing and react properly, right? You've got to put back gentle carbohydrates into the diet to actually prove it's healed and actually to provide the healing it's just got to be the so slow burning, but blueberries is one of those carbohydrates that's excellent to actually get the body to start knowing how to do its thing again. Well, when you talk about drive through Sue, what is more drive through than know. opening a top, grabbing handfuls? Like I keep them in the fridge. I, I, the only problem that's not drive through is my wife says you need to wash them immediately, then eat them. No, I guess never wash why. them. Do you, don't wash guess them. Why? We, you don't wash them at all? We never. go to this grab and pick blueberry place and it wasn't an organic place. And I'm like, oh, well, you know what sprays do you have on? It's not organic. He's like, no, blueberries aren't sprayed crop. The birds, they don't. They don't get eaten. No, it's the fecal matter from the truck Well, ride, you right? see, I did believe that, Serene. And then my daughter, Autumn, went through a thing where we had to buy everything organic. My groceries list went up. I yeah. mean, my, it cost me so much. And I was like, Serene said we don't have to eat blueberries organic. Well, I prefer to, but they said I know. Not and then crop. she said, oh, sometimes they are sprayed, so you never know. But you know what? I say sprayed blueberries versus no blueberries. You're still yeah. getting better effects yeah. eating the blueberries because they lower inflammation. I think they have fertilized. It's either the fertilizer or the non-fertilizer, but I don't believe they're sprayed. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And, and um, so what do they do? They lower your dementia risk. That is actually <gasps> documented. They reduce really? the effects of Alzheimer's. Is it the anthocyanins? Yes. That do that? They prevent age-related memory loss. They actually boost the brain cells that you have. They allow you to increase con concentration and focus. So it's why I'm so I've smart. Wondered, what is it? Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. I love blueberries because they say party to me. Yeah. They're like party. When I see them, and this is what I do with my oatmeal. I make nested oatmeal. We've described that many times. And so the first thing on top goes my cinnamon and gentle sweet. That's mm. the start of the party. Get a nice layer of each. 
Then you put those gorgeous blue blueberries. Then I put my red goji berries on. Oh, then yeah. I put about a teaspoon of cacao nibs. So that's oh. the deep dark. Then I put my fat if I'm eel crossover. So I either put walnuts or I put um, almond butter. Mm. That is a party in a bowl. When I look at that, my day Very says... Very festive. I really want to come my into day your says, house My day says, hallelujah. I mean, everything about it is invigorating and bright and my body knows it's just taking all I can these. Tell you were growing healing. up, like you know, kind of past as kids because your yeah. party is hallelujah. Yeah, my <laughs> party. It's is not hallelujah. like yeah, forex or what do you yeah. call those beers these for, over here? Forex. Australia, the forex. Is she the beer. remembers the forex from Australia. That's a beer. So, yeah. so what is it over here? Miller Foster's. heavy. Foster's. Miller heavy. Yeah, <laughs> Miller heavy. Sorry. <laughs> Miller light. Whatever the names are. <laughs> She's like, no, hallelujah. <laughs> Get my hanky out. No, but I mean, like. Blueberries and then, I mean, blueberries for lunch. Do you ever have them for lunch, Serene? The problem is, is I, my freezer is full of frozen blueberries, but fresh blueberries, so they last better. for the trip home. Oh, yeah. You yeah. eat them. You don't yeah. put them in the back with the groceries. They come in your purse. It's true. Or in, and then they get to your console. And as you drive home, yeah. it's just handful and you might find one in your bra. <laughs> yeah, you might. <laughs> Later on. Yeah, It's I just do. like they're coming half down your throat, you know. Do you know what the best snack is on the way home when you're like really hangry and crazy at the grocery store? You do the blueberry trick. You also get your bag of baby carrots. You do them too. But you also get a rotisserie chicken. Oh, and yeah. that makes you sound. Because the blueberries <laughs> yeah. and the baby carrots, they're feeding yep, yep, yep. the flavonoid antioxidant healthy planty part of you. Yeah. But the chicken does the cement foundational part and of you. And you have to have that slimy finger and you have yes. to like drive home with this yeah. slimy yeah. hand. And then you get a phone call and you're like, Arr! You've got blueberries in your bra and you've got slimy fingers from the chicken, but you're well... But you're a mom you and know. everyone forgives you. <laughs> yes. And and you get home, you, it takes what? If you've got a big family, it takes like... 45 minutes to put the groceries away a full yeah. hour to cake, yeah. bring them in Snack put them up. away and then you got to start then you got to make dinner Snack you're, you're up. two and a half three hours away but you're okay yeah you're yeah. fine you're stable yeah yeah you're stable so blueberries are very stabilizing i mean i don't know what to say about them twice a day for me if i have them and then if not i'm like sending my husband to the grocery store please yeah. get me some blueberries they're easy to binge eat for me yeah like but, fistfuls. but you can't really overdo them i mean just get into so to me it's like diarrhea. that trip home you know yeah. in the homeschool big white van you know the trip home you can yeah. see it in your head right and yeah. so there's no fresh blueberries when you get home if that's why you do frozen some, yeah if somehow somebody else brought blueberries yeah. and they end up in the fridge they'll be stolen and eaten during a movie yeah, yeah. so they, there's no fresh for the day to day in our house can they make your poop blue I mean I've, I've, never, I've never had the blue poop but oh you I know, have do you know how how when we used to pick you go and you pick yeah. at the farms there's more you eat there than that goes into your bucket yeah and in those situations you might get you'll some have blue a blue poop, poop. but do you know what I want to talk about what they do to the gut Oh, yeah. I began, what do they do to the So gut? they provide a lot of fodder for your really good good gut bugs. Okay. And the fodder is for them to, uh, they're a prebiotic, mm -hmm. which, makes post, which makes probiotics, which makes postbiotics. So they're really good fuel for that cycle of the gut, which is to have a, a big, diverse microbiome. You know, can I just interrupt? Uh, do you know why you know that their fiber is so incredible and causes a satiety in your in your um, GI tract, in your stomach? Is Have you ever made a blueberry smoothie and then left it for half an hour and then you come back? The, the thickness is so different yeah. than when you first make it. That The fiber, it gels up. Have you ever mm. noticed that? Or if you make a blueberry pie, yeah, and that's it, true. It, it actually it has a whole different texture after it's been sitting there for a while in any kind of liquid. Yeah. It actually forms a very satiety um, causing fiber in your gut. I tell you what I love as a snack sometimes. I love to do this. And I'll have a drink with protein on the side. But sometimes in the afternoon if I have fresh, and you do it with fresh blueberries. I don't know. Where are these fresh blueberries coming from? How many from packets store, do you buy? A week, about four. Four, four, four little things? No, I do the doubles. Four big doubles. It's expensive too. That's eight. Yes. Yeah. Good on but you. But I don't have a bunch Good of children, at, no home children at home anymore. Good on children at home. It looks like, yeah. And Charlie hates blueberries. So they're basically all for me and my daughter Autumn when she's there around. Yeah. And if Here's not, what I love about the all gals. for me. Okay. You gals get as passionate, if not more passionate, about blueberries than the Food Network chefs get about <laughs> like peach pie. 
you know, they're sugary pie and yeah. they're like, ooh, putting another cup of sugar in here, girl, because you, cause you deserve it. You know, like y'all are that for like the simplest of things from the earth, as you should be. But let me tell you what you should do with blueberries as a snack. As I said, have your protein on the side or dessert post meal when you've already had your protein. Get some blueberries, put them in a bowl. You don't need, you don't need a lot because this is just morsels of satiation, of splendor. You mix about one teaspoon of almond butter with oh, yeah. them. Mm-hmm. Or you can do peanut with butter. blueberries? Yes, with the blueberries. What, what do you mean? What do you mix? How do you mean mix? You mean stir it up in the blueberries? Yes, you don't stir, 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 stir. You like just gently gonna... like get a small, small wooden spoon, like one of those teaspoons that are wooden. Is this one flat teaspoon of what? Almond butter? Because no. I don't see it going around it enough. It does. Especially if the almond she butter... She doesn't refrigerate her almond butter. No. Oh, it oh. wouldn't work if you did that. That makes a difference. That, Mine is yeah. like a hard clog. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. You have and to I, like meat beat it. I'm That's saying terrible. like bashed, <laughs> smashed blueberry No, brain. especially at the top where it's all kind of a little bit greasy. That's the best. <laughs> okay. That's the best to go with your blueberries. And then you just sprinkle, sprinkle, doop, a little bit of gentle sweet on top. Ooh, I mean, it's so it. succulent. They might be sweet enough, Serene, but yeah. it, it just does something to me. I've yeah. also sometimes will just do the little drizzle of honey or maple. Do you know what's Sorry. a lovely nighttime snack for the person who is like, ah, oh, I just gonna, I just need something. I've had my dinner and I shouldn't be eating, but I need something. A pound it's of It's just gojis. the fresh blueberries. And then essential on the side. Mm-hmm. It's so light to go to bed on. Oh, like you a, have to eat something in the evening. You've got your essential, which is yeah. protein that's kind of pre-digested. It's in its free mm-hmm. form of amino the acid form. No. Okay, it's just the on water. the side. And then you have your blueberries. And it's very light. You haven't ruined anything. There's no shame. You know, you just go to bed on that. I know Mike is like doing dig breaths because he's done with our podcast. Um, <laughs> but, but, but you know what? Do you know what? Sorry? Ever since he grew this that mustache. something else. To make us feel better. What? Our niece, Rashida, uh, no, not Rashida, who wrote our cookbooks, but Sahara, Rashida's sister, yeah. said to me the other day, she was at, at my house cleaning. I hire her to clean my house. Yeah. She said, Auntie Pearl, your and Serene's podcast is my favorite podcast. Aww. And she said that she shall listened. we put her in the will, shall yeah, we? Yeah, she's going to go in the will. <laughs> but we have a lot of children each, so so that's probably 50 cents she's to definitely her going when in the we will. go. I don't care. Shove my children out. Let a girl eat. Um, And she said that one that we did on self-care, she listened to twice. Oh. Yeah, but how was I saying this? It was something to do with something or other. Blueberries. I have no clue. Um, it's the ultimate self-care. Oh, um, it was. She goes, oh, Auntie Pearl, you should make them longer. We'll see, it's 55 minutes in, and yeah. Mike's ready, to, so is JD. They're ready to go because they I don't want to hear about blueberries. Male. But 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 Sahara said, I hated them when they were short. So we're 55 minutes in. You're welcome, Sahara. And um, yeah, there you go, Sahara. It's not 30 minutes.